Hey, thanks for clicking on my video. Seb Heslo here and do these even work? Let's find out in this video. All right, so for those of you that don't know, this is a buy one PCIe one to four splitter adapter, which basically means you'll be able to uh, attach four GPUs into one PCIe Express port. So practically what that means is you'll be able to fit more GPUs in your systems, which is great. All right, so what we're gonna do today is we're gonna see just how far we can push this little thing. So what we're gonna do is, first of all, I'm gonna shut my rig down. I'm gonna unplug all of my GPUs as well as the secondary power supply. I'm gonna uh, unplug the GPUs both from the motherboard as well as from power as well. So we're gonna start the system up you know really bare bones just like motherboard processor ram ssd and one power supply just to have a sort of fresh startup i'm gonna power the system back down i'm gonna plug the pci splitter into the motherboard with no gpus attached to it start that up and we'll see what happens and we'll take it from there so that is uh that is what we're gonna do. And then once we, you know, hopefully get that working, I'm gonna start plugging GPUs in one at a time. First um, first into the PCIe splitter, and then we're gonna just keep adding GPUs. All right, so I've shut down the rig. Both power supplies are turned off. Now just to unplug everything. All right, so I got everything unplugged. Now let's turn the system on and, you know, fingers crossed everything still works unplugged. <laughs> Right, everything's spinning, so that's good. Got nothing on screen, very good. And we're into Windows, nice. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna shut the system back down. I'm gonna put the splitter chip into one of the slots here. Probably the one that I'm pretty sure is recognized as the very first slot on the motherboard, which is the first black one. And then we're gonna fire the uh, system back up again and see what happens. Yeah, look, it's trying to mine, but I have no GPUs plugged in. <laughs> All right, so the adapter is plugged in. I ended up taking the little like side bracket thing off because I figured it would just get in the way really so yeah let's uh, turn the machine back on and uh, see how we go three two one all right everything's spinning up let's have a look at the screen see what happens all right so far so good i guess good. nothing's happened really so maybe that's a good sign let's uh Let's shut the system back off and uh, plug a GPU into the thing. Alright, so the USB cable for one of the GPU risers is plugged into the splitter chip. And I got the other end of that USB cord plugged into the riser here. And the GPU is plugged into the power supply, as well as the power for the riser in there. So yeah, let's uh, turn this on and fingers crossed it will work. Three, two, one. All right, lights coming on on the riser, so that's a good sign. Fans are spinning on the GPU, so that's an even better sign. Got something going on on the screen here, that's nice. All right, we're in Windows, nice. So let's have a look in our device manager again. All right, so it looks like it's trying to install some things here. And let's see if we got anything under our display adapters. We do. We have a we have our 1660 there under display adapters. All right, guys. So I just opened up MSI Afterburner, and it recognized our card no problemo. Uh, it even remembered the overclock settings I had on it from before. So that is really impressive. So let's just get our miner up and running and see if uh, we can get this card hashing through the splitter chip. 
Yeah, guys, no problem at all. The GPU has been recognized by our miner and it's hashing away at full hash rate. Really good so far. Let's uh, plug more cards into this thing. All right, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna plug different kinds of GPUs into it. So I have a 1660 Super plugged into it right now. I'm also gonna plug in a 1660 Ti and a 1660 non-Ti non-Super, just like a regular 1660. And the fourth card will have to be another 1660 Super. However, I'm gonna plug one that has a different um, memory chip manufacturer. So I'll have one 1660 Super with Hynix memory and I'll have one 1660 Super with Samsung memory. But I am gonna plug them in one at a time. So let's start with the 1660 Ti first. All right, second card is spinning. Riser is lighting up. Looks all good so far. Check it out guys, there it is in our device manager. So let's get MSI Afterburner and T-Rex Miner up and uh, see what it does. Yeah guys, check it out. Full hash rate on both cards with individual overclocking settings in MSI Afterburner. Really good so far. So yeah, what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna plug in the third card, check that that works, plug the fourth card in and check that what that works. And when I've done that, I'll check back in with you guys. So see you then. All right, guys, I got some great news. All four cards has shown up in our device manager. And not only that, I'm also able to give them all individual overclocks. As you can see here, they are also all hashing away at full hash rate. So, I mean, that's a great success, isn't it? So yeah, this actually turned out to be a bit of a better experiment than I had originally anticipated because not only was the splitter chip able to recognize different kinds of GPUs, you know, with the 1660 Super and the TI and the non, you know, regular 1660, but it was also able to recognize two of the same kind of GPU, but was able to differentiate between the two. So yeah, I, I think what I'm going to do now is I'm gonna fill this whole rig up with GPUs and then I'm gonna get back to you and we'll see if it still all works fine with uh, a bunch of more GPUs plugged in. And yeah, see you then. All right, so I got eight GPUs plugged in now. So four into the uh, splitter chip, which I also changed what four um, GPUs I plugged into the splitter chip just to you know, try and mess with it some more. And then I plugged another four just straight onto the motherboard. So yeah, let's uh, turn it on and see how we go. All right. Seems like all the lysers are lighting up and all of the GPUs are spinning. That's a good sign. And yeah, I'll check back with you uh, once we're in uh, Windows. All right, so I got all eight cards recognized by the computer and they're all mining away at full hash rate at individual overclocks. So what I'll do is I'll just let this run for about half an hour now and then I'll check back with you guys. So yeah, guys, as you can see, it's been over 25 minutes now and this rig has been going strong at full speed for, yeah, you know, like almost half an hour now. So just a word of caution here is that I did notice my system becoming just a little bit laggier and slower and glitchier. Um, so, you know, these while these things seem to work fine, they might also be making your system just a tad bit more fragile. So I would say still use a bit of caution with these. Maybe don't push your overclocks to the absolute limit and maybe give your system a nice restart once in a while just to keep it fresh and keep it happy. But other than that, I'm really happy with the result of using one of these. So, but yeah, if this video has been helpful to you, then please give it one of these. I'd really appreciate it. And what you gotta do now is you gotta click on one of the videos on the screen because this video is over. You can also click on my face to subscribe to the channel. I'd really appreciate that. But yeah, go click on that next video and I'll see you over there. Goodbye. Bye-bye.